Now here we are at the CloudberryLab.com website, the fine folks that brought us Cloudberry Explorer Pro, as well as the item we're going to be talking about in this video, and that's Cloudberry S3 Explorer. And this is the freeware version, lots of bells and whistles. Frankly, I like this better than most any other Amazon S3 third-party tool on the market, both paid or free. It's just got a lot going for it. And to download this fine product, we're going to go here to Download Product. Click on that going to bring us to the next download screen. So we click on the download link here and that's going to, like most any other product you're about ready to install on your computer, it's going to download it. You double click on the exe file, follow the bouncing ball, and then your Cloudberry Explorer is now installed on your computer. And once it is, you're going to get a nice little icon on your computer that looks just like this. And then you just double click on this to open it up. And this is the interface the way that it looks once you've got it installed and open. Now let me just give you a quick tour of the software here and by all means I'm probably going to leave a lot of stuff out there's that much going on here but you've got basically two panes here and if you're familiar with FTP products where or FTP clients where you have like for example your computer and then you've got the internet or your web server look at it like that where you can transfer files from one to the other and back or download and upload and in this case on these two panes you can determine the source of that pane by the drop down box here and in both of these we've got my computer and with that same thought you can have multiple accounts with Amazon S3 both yours and others other people's accounts that provide you permissions to access certain buckets on their account but for example right now if we wanted to we can have say this particular Amazon S3 account here and another one of our Amazon S3 accounts over here and or just the computer where you're going to be uploading files and you can transfer files from one S3 account to another it's really pretty cool things like this you're not going to find in other Amazon S3 third-party tools another cool thing is the tab view you can go from multiple tabs which means in this particular tab in this particular tab you've got the Amazon S3 account going to this particular S3 account here to here now let's take a quick tour of what we got going on here. Under File, you can see all the accounts you have under your Amazon S3. And I'm going to show you here in a second how to create a new account. I'm just going to delete one and just show you how to recreate it. And what else we got here under View, Show Queue Pane. Now if you got a checkbox here, it's going to provide you with these down here. Basically, what takes place or what is taking place, whatever activities you have going on in your Cloudberry Explorer up here, it's going to be tracking it down here. And you can uh, highlight or select one and remove completed tasks, clear all, or you can even pause the active tasks that are taking place. Let's go ahead and just clear all these guys out of here. And again, if you don't want this because you have multiple buckets up here, you want to see them all, and you come up here and remove that checkbox. And under Tools, you've got several options here to choose from. Content Types. Frankly, out of the box default most all of this stuff here is just fine and dandy but if you're setting this up for somebody that you don't want to mess around with some of these things some of these different extensions then you just go in here select one and remove it or you can add additional ones and if you really screw the pooch here and mess things up always you got this uh, safety button here reset to default and you're good to go and what else we got here under tools oh yeah the best item here options check this out course again all this stuff here is fine and dandy for me right out of the box but if you are say not in the US and you want Europe to be the bucket location of default then you can check this so whenever you go to create buckets then this is your default selection of course you always have the option of changing that as well and if you want to check versions automatically leave that box checked and I see no reason why you would uncheck it but you got the option there show confirmation message when you close tab or application that's always a good thing show the program and system tray that I would say would be a good thing too either always never or what is defaulted and that is only when minimized you got your proxy settings here you got your copy and move and you got the Amazon S3 copy and move these are pretty cool in that they allow you different options here to, to mess with and under Amazon S3, this is the best feature of all, as far as I'm concerned, with Cloudberry Explorer. And that is that whenever you go to move information or files from one of your buckets to another one of your buckets or from one of your accounts to another different account, 
normally what will take place with other third-party tools is it will bring it down to your computer and this is all kind of behind the scenes but it's going to be slow and it's going to be costly not a whole lot of money but it, again it ain't free but it will bring it to your computer and then upload to the account or the bucket that you're wanting it to be transferred to or moved to or copied to and that is this process here just like it shows now with this option checked what happens with Cloudberry Explorer is that it simply moves within Cloudberry Explorer it has nothing to do thus the happy face has nothing to do with your computer it goes bam straight across and that is faster and the all-important four-letter word free so with this checked, you're gonna save money and gonna save time two big commodities that uh, we could always do with more of so anyway with that checked you are good to go and again you've got a few extra options here you can play with under copy move now, under connection again default is fine and dandy but if you want to tweak the options here you have that ability and what else we got here under tools uh, diagnostic if you're encountering a problem and you want some assistance from the fine folks at Cloudberry Labs then click on that it'll run a quick diagnostic of your system and then you can click on the send button it'll send it off to Cloudberry Labs they hopefully will be able to see what ails you and get it fixed you got the HTTP headers too. add some meta information so again if you're into that you got that option there and under help basic basic stuff you got additional contents here in case the information you're finding in this fine little video ain't cutting the mustard for you <laughs> well then you've got some additional options you can play with here just click on F1 or just click on this and you'll be able to have additional help uh, check for updates of course if you got that other item checked that we went over under the options button here then you won't have to check for updates it'll do it automatically and you can click on this send you right on back to the folks over at Cloudberry Labs and if you love Cloudberry Explorer as much as I think you will then click on this and share the love let them folks over there know and this just tells you what the current version is and some additional information about Cloudberry Explorer but that's it folks that's our quick little tour of Cloudberry Explorer Hope you learned something. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day.